Grab your drink because we are choosing to something very exciting today. I washed my hair. <laughs> yes, I did. Ah, finally. Y'all, if you would have seen it before I washed it this morning, you could fry eggs on it. It was so greasy. Okay, so we are choosing to that. You know, lemon water. Drink your water. It's good for you. At least one sip. Cheers. Oh, forgot a straw. We're just gonna have to risk it. That's okay. We only lost a little bit of lip gloss. What are we doing? Ah, wedding fails. We got some wedding fails. What's the wedding song? Do, 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 do. Does anyone even use that anymore? I forgot Jack's wedding ring upstairs. In the bride's room, it's in the wooden box. for your motherfucking life, run. I, if that was me, shoes off. <sighs> I am out of there to get you that ring. Walking down the aisle and you forget the most important part, <gasps> the ring. Why well, know it's funny, the recent wedding I went to a few weeks ago, I was a bridesmaid. Ceremony started at four. It's 3.45 p.m. We're all lining up in the bridal suite to go to the lobby to start, you know, walking down the aisle we get a little call. Well, not true. One of the bridesmaids calls the groom's mother and she's like, hey, yeah, we're all ready to go. Last thing we need, where are the rings? Oh, I forgot them at home. <laughs> literally. She's like, this is not a joke. I forgot them at home. So we were late to starting the ceremony because she literally had to run home, get the rings and drive all the way back. Yeah, so forgetting the rings, apparently it happens in real life. Best man got a little too lit before the ceremony. Bruh. Struggling to make it through, I'd say. Is he even awake? <gasps> no! No, no, no. He missed his speech and the whole reception. Look at him on the floor, his suit jacket's a pillow, garbage next to him. Ooh, that means he was puking or on the verge to. And then I love that we just threw a pile of snacks next to him. Like, good luck, buddy. Why, at this point, go home. At this point, why are you even here? See, that, guys, to me, that would piss me off. Like, it's one day. I think you can like control your alcohol intake for one freaking day. You're the best man. You just missed. If my best friend missed my entire wedding, I'd be devastated. All because you drank too much? What are we in high school? Can't handle your alcohol? Get it together. Married on random islands. And um <laughs> You know, the only thing that I was like, okay, a sigh of relief, it seemed like a casual wedding. Maybe they're just doing a vow renewal or a very casual thing. I was so worried about the bride, like her dress, her hair, her makeup, because obviously that's expensive. That's, you know, all your pictures. It seems that they're kind of all dressed in bathing suit attire anyway. So maybe this could be a really funny memory. I bet the pictures turned out hilarious in the end. And as long as everyone's safe. <sighs> brutal oh my god the rings <gasps> oh who's holding the rings rings over water that's a dangerous game to play my husband said this by accident during our wedding vows Ooh. oh i love these two oh my god these two are so cute they're they're famous on tiktok oh my god they're the sweetest couple okay take you sarah malika Take you, Sarah Moliga. For my lawful wife. For my lawful life. <laughs> he looked a bit embarrassed at his mistake. You said that I did a good job. You did. You said lawful. Well, that's okay. I take you as my lawful life. <laughs> I take you as my lawful for my life. I love that. They actually got pretty, they went viral on TikTok because he's very Italian and how he pronounces things, like that's kind of what they're known for online. And then she'll do things that are very like against the Italian rules just to like get his reaction. It's really funny. They're so sweet. 
<laughs> take you as my waffle life. Hey, taking waffles for the rest of your life, not a bad thing, you know? When your husband drops you on your wedding day, oh. Oh, 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 I bet those pictures are so fun though. <laughs> I love it. The pictures are probably phenomenal. Whatever, it's, if you're a chill bride, you're not even thinking about the grass, like fun memories, fun moment, pictures are probably great, you know? This is actually a new thing. The bride and groom at my last wedding that I stood in, they practiced their dip down the aisle like 10 times when we were there at the wedding rehearsal because she was so worried of this happening, of her falling, of him dropping her. It's a new thing photographers are telling you to do that when you like, okay, you are here's your now husband and wife and you walk, you're leaving in the middle of the aisle, you do a dip. That way the photographer can capture it. It's like apparently a new thing. And I'm like, and that's a little risky. I don't know if I want to be dipped upside down in the middle of the aisle because that's just kind of waiting for disaster. I mean, at least it was just in the photos, not down the aisle. And if you're wondering, picture turned out beautiful and their dip was chef's kiss. Asian auntie blocks bridal march for the gram. What people will do for the gram, you know? Oh, see? <gasps> like stay in your aisle, in your pew, ma'am. Oh God, she's in the aisle. He tells her to move. Yeah, the father of the bride doesn't look happy and I wouldn't be either. This is why I will be having a, what's the word? Um, like no cell phones at the reception. I forget, there's a word, there's a terminology that people are using at weddings nowadays, but I will not be having that. At the last wedding, during the ceremony, it was the same thing. They had signs and before they began, they asked everyone, this is a no cell phone thing. I will be doing that because it ruins everything. It ruins all the pictures that you have or people cell phones in the aisle, in front of the camera. And also, let's just be present. Just be in this moment with me. You know, the photographer's there for a reason. It's their job to capture all the pictures and the moments um, and just be here with me. So that's my choice, but let me know what you guys decided to do for your wedding. Did you have, like, it was totally fine during the ceremony for cell phones? Do you regret that decision? Are you happy with that decision? You know, let me know your feelings because I haven't married yet, so. Imagine I have like three divorces under my belt and you guys never knew. I can't even find one person to marry me yet. <laughs> so POV, your bride realizes they didn't get the marriage license when you're about to finish her glam. What? What do you mean? Well, how about we play the video and find out, Joss? No. You both have to go. You have to go together. Yeah. Like after or before? Before. before. Bring it to the wedding. Awesome. Not to yell at you already. We were supposed to go to the courthouse together and get the marriage license. Right? I'm going to be legally married today. Not to yell at you. Nope. I told you. Alyssa, I literally told you. I told you that too. I'm literally recording this. This is you can have it for memory. Like, what do you do in that situation? Obviously, it's too late now. We're getting married, but I guess they're not legally married today. Like they're gonna have to go and get that after the wedding. Interesting, how do you forget that? I feel like these, the rings and the marriage license, the probably the most important part of the entire thing, but okay. Let's see what I forget on my wedding day. I'm saying this all now and just wait, I'll forget both. Just knock on wood, but I feel like it's gonna happen. Oh, oh this isn't gonna go well. Oh. Oh, I felt that. It literally like a right. Uh, that hurt. That would hurt so bad. He full on, sir. Oh, her back. I just watched it again, y'all. I'm just like scrolling through, dragging the cursor and watching her back. Oh, I swear she hits that thing so hard. Her face. Her face. Oh, I, don't, I wouldn't be surprised if she had to go to the hospital. I mean, she stood back up after. Maybe she's a trooper, but I felt that. This happens at every wedding. Someone always ruins the confetti exit by tipping confetti in the bride's hair or down her dress. Always one. Oh, yep, she dumped it right on her head. Always one. Fuck sakes. Always one. 
Do we do confetti exits? I've actually never seen a confetti exit at any wedding before. <laughs> But okay, um, isn't that kind of the point? I understand, I don't think that last woman needed to literally go on top of the bride's head and be like right on her head. I wouldn't do that, because I would be thinking of photos and her hair and her makeup and things like that. But I feel like a confetti exit, you're bound to get some on you. You know what I mean? But the dumping right on her head, a little unnecessary. I don't think we needed to do just that. I would love a little confetti in my hair though. A little bit of glitter, a little bit of shine, a little bit of sparkle. Well, confetti's not sparkly, but it could be. It could be. I'm taking notes. Confetti exit must have sparkles. <gasps> sparkles are crazy to clean up though. They stick to everything. Like you'll never get them out. You know what? How about I don't plan my own wedding? <laughs> Cause it's gonna be a shit show. I begin to pass out. And my head hit the wall. Boom. <gasps> Wait, whoa. Did someone push her or did she fall? Oh, I need to investigate the crime. Hold on. Let me scroll. I'm going to slow motion this baby. Okay, she's reaching for it. Oh, no, no. It's not a crime. It's not a crime. If you watch her left leg, which is our right leg, we're looking at it and it's right. Well, it's my right leg. She slips, she goes up and then she comes down and she slips on that back foot and goes kerplunk. I thought someone pushed her y'all. <laughs> I swear I'm like, damn girls, you guys realize like it's just a freaking bouquet. Like you don't have to push this grandmother down onto the floor. No, she slipped. Oh, I would have let her get it at that point. Just give it to her, give her the flowers. Make it worth her while because I think she broke her ankle. All right, there's a trigger warning here y'all. Trigger warning for this clip um, for vomiting. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna see it because you can't show that on YouTube, so it'll be censored. But if you don't like the sounds, the thought, the idea of vomiting, skip this one, okay? There's a note here, so it don't phase me, but. In your best friend, I commit to sharing with you in seasons of abundance oh! and in seasons of scarcity. Oh, no. I promise. Oh, bless! Oh, and they keep going. The poor bride's looking at her like, uh, okay, I'm just gonna keep going. What happened? I actually feel really bad because I don't think it's due to alcohol. I think it's probably, she's genuinely sick. Maybe she's even pregnant. We have no idea what the story is. Oh, I feel really bad. How embarrassing. Oh, I bet she was like really trying to like, we just gotta get through this and then I'm gonna go to the back and puke my brains out. And it just, it just came and surprised you. I think I also heard a fart in there, but I was trying not to point it out. Not that this already has happened, but I was trying to savor the embarrassment of that, but I think I heard a fart in there too. I would never show my face again. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, that's, Okay, it's kind of sweet. I get the moment of the bride and groom are really what you're supposed to be capturing here, but yeah, the little girl probably saw her mom leaving and was like, uh, where the hell do you think you're going? Not without me. And then the little one was like, well, you're not leaving me here. So those will be sweet pictures in the end. Cute. I ruined my mom's wedding day completely, guys. Like, I think my mom, I gotta show you guys. I have to insert them in this video. <laughs> My sisters and I all ruined my mother's wedding photos. <laughs> so not to my dad, to my stepfather, my mother's second marriage. Um, I cried the whole time. I was five years old. Me and my stepsister are the same age and we are flower girls. Don't mind the bowl cut that you will see in these pictures. Um, I was miserable because they kept putting me away from my mom in the pictures and I was attached to my mother's hip growing up. If I was not touching my mother, I was crying, okay? I was such a mommy's girl. Um, and then in <laughs> the wedding photos, my siblings and I are just, my sisters, we're just causing, we're just chaos. I'm looking back at my mom, bawling my eyes out. I'm miserable as all can be. My sister's pretending to bite flowers, making goofy faces. <laughs> These pictures are iconic, um, but those are the final images. I'm not just like, oh, here's the funny, no, those were the final images <laughs> that my mom got on her wedding day. You're welcome. My boy. Yeah. Yep. See, I already have noted in my mind from enough of these videos that whole champagne tower thing. 
I'm not doing it and I wouldn't do it. The risk of it is not worth it. The amount of champagne you will waste if one thing, one thing moves incorrectly, that entire thing's crumbling, broken glass everywhere, even if used plastic, fine. But the waste of champagne, no thanks. Give me the bottle of champagne, I will pour you a glass myself. This whole champagne tower, it's too risky. It's too risky. You know, I don't wanna waste alcohol. If it was water, I might not care as much as I tell you guys to hydrate every single day. <laughs> All right, guys, I wanna hear all about your wedding days, or if you're not married yet, what are your wedding do's and don'ts that you already have noted for when the day comes? Let me know, give me the tea. I'm out of here though. Stay classy out there, stay sassy. I'll see you tomorrow.